Hello, Moops Nation. I'm Aaron Wimsett, Sonny on Graves, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, Sweet six, 16, I can't speak today, the Sweet 16 edition. Um, some good games early on, and then kind of towards the end, it was the well, last two games were blowouts. Um, your initial thoughts on tonight? Um, it was set up to be a good night. A um, couple bad games, but, I mean, it was a couple tough tough fights just to get clawed to the eight, elite eight um so on to the good um the the blue chips beat the gorillas twice, <laughs> twice this season yeah and uh i think i got the clip in there from the players committee meeting <laughs> i don't know who it was it was reed or who i don't know who it was that said oh no uh no Gorillas, <laughs> no gorillas Rebel Championship game, and, and neither one will make it. Not even to the Elite Eight. So, what is the last time that they've both been knocked out before the Elite Eight? Uh, yeah, the the Gorillas are full strength. Um, Blue Chips are full full strength. Adam Wetzel is back. Um, it's good as knees. Good. Um, the, the game was, I think, as close of a game as, as you can get. I think they they shot the same percentage from the field. Um, I think they, no, there wasn't you know any gap in rebounding or anything. Um, did the blue chips just found a way to to pull it out? Yeah, I mean, and it was Arsenio and Bryant on their second game. And Maher was fresh because of the heights forfeit at 7:30, but I mean it was close game, hard fought, and chips held on to it at the end. Um, yeah, I mean. Our uh, the the blue chips. I think they shot more free throws. Um, and uh, Arsenio and DeBoer. Um, I, the, you know when you, you look at it, the, they needed to show up, and they combined for thirty eight for thirty nine points. So, um, no, good, good good for the blue chips. Um, the the Shockers and Red Devils is probably the aside from the blue chips game. Uh, was probably the most interesting. Um, Red Devils hang with them the whole game. Um, I, I think I think there was uh, like 30 seconds left. Um, it was like 48 to 51. Uh, Luke Brun gets the ball at the top, top of the key, drives. It looked to me like he was going up, and we'll we'll play it in slow motion here. Um, it looked to me like he was in the process of, of shooting, but he he shoots, he makes the bucket. And they called it a block on the on the floor. Um, so then, instead of shooting an and one, he was shooting a one for one. He missed the front end of the one for one. And uh, I think I think the Shockers came down and hit two free throws or made a shot, and it was you know game over from there. But yeah, um, yeah, I saw Paul force a three at the end and came back rim. And that was that sealed the deal for them. Another good game tonight was the Broncos Squires early. And that was hard fought until the end where I believe Jerry broke it open. He hit a couple clutch threes, a mid-range pull up, got some key steals, um, and broke that open for the shot or for the Squires. Um, so on, on to the bad. Um, Menace played the Blazers, uh, both friendly teams, so they're pretty familiar with each other. Uh, it, I think it was tied at halftime. Um, Menace, I think they got up by seven in the second half, and I think there was um, eight, eight minutes left. I left to go check on the other game and watch that for a few minutes. I came back, and I'm like, who's up? And the Blazers were up by two. Um, they, they, they blew the lead. I don't know. Yeah, it blew a seven-point lead with what was about six or seven uh, about yeah six to five yeah six seven minutes, and you could just see like probably teams pacing themselves because they had a second game and they just couldn't hold on. I mean, Chasing Bryant and Devin killed them. Like you don't expect Devin to knock down the outside shot, and he I believe he hit three threes and finished with 19. So that's it's an X factor when you come out planning for Bryant and then you have Devin. Kill you. Yeah. Um, there there was a few blowouts. Uh, Muskies and Fobs, one you kind of expect. Um, Big Smash blows out Miller time. Uh, Brian Anderson, uh, hopefully his ankle's okay, but he went down, I think, eight minutes into the game, probably with an ankle injury, didn't come back. So Miller time was, was iron five for the rest of the game. And Aaron, 
was had just got done playing uh, with the Blazers, and that went uh, and went. You know, it was a longer game than. Um, so, your thoughts on that? Game? Um, it was hard fought. We Greg pressed uh, Austin the whole game, made him for, force, just made him force, and he took some real bad shots. Like it was like forced him to be uncomfortable. He got down low. And then you have Ken down there, six six seven. Tuan is low, so he's trying to put a floater up. It was just tough shots that he had to make. And then um, basically the rest of the team was just frustrated. Yeah, no, you guys played. If you guys can, you know, if you guys play like that tomorrow, I think there's no way you lose. Um, you know, everywhere that he was your focal point, and everywhere he went, you had you know two or three guys on him. Just you know. And yeah, he, he, I think he shot like five for seventeen or something. So you guys shut him down. It was just one play where I could tell where it was almost a turnover, and he ripped it back, and you could just see as soon as he t picked the ball up, I'm dunking the ball, and barely, almost, almost caught Garland under the rim, but I think Garland got a piece of it and he went back higher. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, I mean, and let's say bring up the ugly. I would say the the Muskies five five morale game. We round up five on each player is basically for morale, just to get get a get a game in and Muskies crush, and they're just getting a warm up in for the Blazers tomorrow. Uh, also, the the Highstone show up. Um, newer team to the league. Uh, they did well during the regular season. Uh, we had them set up, or not set up, but they had their rematch against the Avengers, who they played week five or six, I believe. Uh, and it was a it was a close game. It actually kind of got heated at the end. Uh, you think they would have showed up and and would wanted to win? Um, I think they only had one person show up. Um, your thoughts on that? Yeah, the Avengers were Iron Five, like so. That was your best bet. And they're Iron Five. Most of the players have to play a second game, and you could have wore them out. And you're on the long court. You got the young legs. You could have ran the floor on them, <clears throat> and then you no show. Just give up your, give up your uh, win. Easy Elite Eight. Uh, any final thoughts heading into tomorrow? Um. It should be good. Big smash. Let's hold on. Keep the chemistry. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow in Fridley. Uh, games will be at 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. We'll see you tomorrow.